If you're a member of this thing, you're definitely a very long-term viewer of this channel. It was, I think, in 2009 when I uploaded a video called Homemade Electronics, which was basically a first pilot episode of Dr. Cassette's workshop. Well, in this video I featured this thing right here. This is an Ethernet cable tester that I made in school back in 2009. And, well, back then I was not able to test it because I just simply had no Ethernet cables. Well, that has changed. I now do have a couple of Ethernet cables, so I can actually demonstrate this thing and show you how it works. Now, uh, first of all, let's uh, once again take a look inside, because I guess not all of you will remember that. There it is. Rather simple, rather basic, and uh, requires a 9 volt battery, which of course I don't have, so we will have to uh, go with a bit of a different solution here. As you can see, I have a uh, little adjustable power supply sitting right there, so we're just going to use that thing. Let me just uh, go ahead and hook that up very professionally using alligator clip leads. Okay. Uh, hook it up to right there. I'll make sure I hook it up the wrong way. Well, actually, I can hook it up the wrong way because this uh, circuit contains an idiot diode. A little diode that is hooked up in a way that uh, if you have the battery hooked up the wrong polarization, it's uh, not going to let any, any power pass through. All right, now I uh, want to go ahead and turn on the power supply. And nothing happens. Okay, the thing has a power s switch right here. And there we go. As you can see, it is blinking. A little LED is blinking. Now, each time the LED is blinking, it sends out a pulse. And well, let's see what happens if we hook up an Ethernet cable. Let me just get one real quick. Here we have one, rather cheap thing, but uh, let's just get that hooked up. Oh dear, what kind of a mess is that? Anyway, we now go ahead and turn this on. You're going to see how this works. goes and as you can see what this does is each time it sends out a pulse it hooks that all up to a different cable and corresponding to the cable one of the LEDs lights up and uh, interestingly the one on the bottom does not light up so uh, well I don't think this cable is bad but um, definitely kind of weird but uh, that way you can see if there are any shorts, if there are any bad contacts, if a cable has ripped apart, or if, uh, if the cables are in the wrong order. So uh, that's the way that works. Let's go ahead and uh, try out another cable. And there goes the next one. Let's go ahead and try it out. Turn on the power. And there it goes. And as you can see on this one, also the, uh, the LED on the bottom lights up. So I guess I'll have to uh, mark the blue cable we tested previously as questionable. using two integrated circuits and uh, I guess that potentiometer down there adjusts the, uh, the time, the speed. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what this uh, potentiometer does. Hey, I got a screwdriver and uh, let's see what happens. We turn that a little bit. Okay, that is 
is definitely the speed. Oh, I actually like it a lot better this way. <laughs> looking good. Simple entertainment for simple people, isn't it? Anyway, I guess that's it. There it is, the homemade Ethernet cable tester that I built in school back in 2009. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.